Hello, welcome to Mavros installation and implementation tutorial. In this tutorial, we will have uh, an installation guide for Mavros and then we will be implementing some simple programs to see how Mavros works. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what Mavros is, Mavros is a ROS package which enables uh, you to communicate with your Mavlink enabled vehicles. So let's start with the installation. For installation, you can follow up uh, PX4 official uh, documents. You can easily search on Google and be guided to this page. Just search PX4 Mavros and you're going to be guided to this page or otherwise you can just type the link address written above. Uh, this uh, installation guide is kind of a mirror of the official Mavros guide on GitHub. You can also follow it up there. Uh, the idea is the same, uh, but for me, I'm more comfortable to follow it from PX4 dev guide. Uh, for installing Mavros, we have two different ways. One of them is to install from binary packages which is the easiest one. And uh, if you don't want to go into depth with Mavros that much, and you don't want to have uh, very deep developments, uh, this might be enough for you. But for those of you who are intended to have more developments, uh, the source installation might be a better option. Uh, in case uh, you are going through binary installation, just uh, I might remind you that uh, these are the only architectures supported for binary packages installations so all other architectures for example if you have debian buster on your raspberry pi these that binary package installation won't be supported and you have to go through uh, source installation so let's go ahead and start installation i will have my terminal and then uh, i will just replace this Kinetic with my uh, current ROS version, which I'm using Melodic. By the way, my current setup is open to 18, and I have ROS Melodic installed on my system. Okay, we are done. Uh, the next step is to have our geographic lib datasets to be installed. First of all, we have to get them. So with wget, we will get this uh, geographic lib datasets, and then we want to install it. Just it will be copy and pasting, and done. For me, I have had them already from before. So uh, you see the output is like this. They, they already are existing for you. Uh, the output is different. So this, this was the uh, binary installation. Now let's go for source installation. Uh, here there's a, uh, there's a one important uh, thing to be noticed is that uh, if you have already created your Catkin workspace before this uh, DIR making, line at the beginning is not needed you most probably know that and we are assuming that your workspace is in this location catkin workspace otherwise uh, whichever workspace you have just you can replace it uh, wherever you can you, you are seeing this catkin workspace uh, so we'll, we'll be starting uh, with uh, this line we'll be going to our uh, workspace and then we will initialize our catkin uh, for me, I already have uh, my uh, Catkin workspace uh, built before, so I have the folders, they're already there. Uh, so for you, this here might be a bit different, but anyways, uh, we'll be continuing with uh, WS tool. We will initialize it for our source folder inside, and then the, the ROS install file uh, is going to be uh, created. Uh, so if, if you need the Python uh, ROS install generator already and you don't have it, you can just take it with this command here. Uh, for me, I have it already, so it's not needed. If uh, it's your first time using WS tool, 
uh, please, please, please uh, try to implement uh, this initialization for your uh, workspace. Uh, for me, I'll just uh, try and see what's going to be happening. Yeah, you can see that my Rust install file is already there and modified. Uh, so uh, we'll be going for uh, having our build. Uh, we have a Mavlink, which has to be installed first. And then we're gonna be having Mavros. Uh, we'll be start. We'll be starting from Mavlink first. You can add. You you have one note here. You can add uh, this depths uh, here, and uh, you can have all dependencies installed as well. We don't want to make this video too long, so we will be going like this without having our dependencies installed uh, this uh, distribution here doesn't have to be replaced as it's as, as it's been written here so since it's distribution uh, like it's not uh, depending on any distribution uh, so uh, Mavlink uh, source link has been taken and then we will be going for the Mavros uh, source uh, we have uh, we have two uh, ways to have Mavros one of them is the latest source and the other one is the latest stable source uh, I'll be going with a uh, stable one and then the next step is to have your packages uh, retrieved uh, so we will be starting with our WS tool merge and uh, we are having everything here ready to start retrieving our packages uh, I'll be replacing this dash J4 with 8 so 8 uh, processes done at the same time it's gonna be faster if you are on Raspberry Pi or other boards uh, which are not uh, uh, fast enough which are not uh, which cannot tolerate uh, lots of tasks you can replace even dash J4 with J2 as you know if you are a uh, linux geek uh, we'll be waiting for the packages to be fetched all and then we will be going through rust dev installation this is a basic general way uh, as you you may know as well that if you want to take any other packages uh, with uh, ros this is the way always uh, so let's go for our dependencies to be installed here and then all row steps are installed successfully uh, next is to be going to have our geographic lib installed same as the other binary packages we see that here we need root privilege so we will have sudo at the beginning and we see that this geographic lib already exists for you it might be different so let's start and build our packages okay let's go with the build uh i have uh, used uh, catkin tools before i'm going to be continue using catkin build uh if you have used catkin make you can do your build with that one but i'm using catkin tools so i will be continuing with catkin build i will be adding two things in front here which is mavros i just i only want to Mavros package to be built and uh, optionally I'm adding this dash J8 so only uh, eight uh, processes are gonna be done at the same time so my build is gonna be faster you can add uh, J16 J4 it all depends on your system and setup you are using you might be using Raspberry Pi so even j2 only two tasks in parallel uh, it all depends on your configuration especially your uh, your computer's uh, ram which can take care of this build or not uh, after the build uh, we will be uh, having to source this uh, setup that bash file each time you can do it in your terminal or uh, if you're not intended to do that you can just add this line to your bash rc file so our building is not going to be taking that much of time i hope yes we are 
four out of five to be completed. Just be careful that uh, most probably you know most of you who are working with Ross, but just be careful that uh, packages can come back with a warning. The build can come back with warnings, but not with an error. So if you have any errors during your build, uh, try to find out what the reason had been. Uh, you can see we are, uh, we, we, we got stuck on Mavros build here, uh, which is the biggest part to be built now. Okay, seems that our build is done. Uh, we had no errors, fortunately, and it took like four minutes to have our build finished. Uh, I gave you the hint about this uh, setup bash, uh, how to test if we have our Mavros running now. Uh, we will be just opening the terminal again. We will be closing and opening the terminal again. And uh, we will be starting checking. You can see that here by pressing tab, I have my Mavros here installed and I can start with px4.launch file. Okay, so seems that our Mavros is installed and everything is fine. Next step is to implement an example for it. 